Hi Cancers, welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for the week of January 27th, 2020 to February 7th, 2020. Okay, um, as you know, these readings are completely timeless. They're for any time that you view this and they're also directed to anybody for whom this resonates. It doesn't have to be someone with a Cancer sign. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you're more than welcome. My information is in the box below, and um, it will be a link to my Etsy shop. On my Etsy shop, I'm also including new listings for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, um, you can see that. If you'd like to donate to me as well, thank you so much in advance. Amen. <laughs> the link is in the box below as well. Okay, so let's jump right in. Cancer, if this reading is for you, and you resonate with it, then you may very well find that in this week, in this upcoming week, you will be pulled by a vision. I'm getting that some of you are being pulled by a vision that's very creative. Now, as I'm saying that, I'm feeling my hands moving like this. There's a there's an air of creativity that is rich. It's rife. The air is rife with it. Um, it's like this six energy. It feels like a six. A lot of gold, a lot of abundant energy around you. Um, so some of you may be really, really, really feeling this. It's almost like you've got the Midas touch. Anything you touch turns to gold. But it's almost like in your mind, this is such a reality that even if that if you you're almost sure that if you were to touch something that it would just blow up and turn into gold. So a lot of you feel like you're on the eve. It's not even on the eve of actually giving birth to something, but feeling like I am so uh, fecund. <laughs> I'm so fertile right now that I can turn anything into gold. I just heard I can turn money into gold. <laughs> okay. So Cancer, this is where we are right now for you. I'm seeing that aspiration is giving you just the vision that you need and that you can trust it. You are aspiring this week and whatever visions come to mind, trust it. It's, al it's almost like the visions don't even have to come to mind. You are the one who's creating this vision. Now, take a look here. Look at that card. This card, whenever it comes out, it really shows that whatever it is that you're working towards will come easy, easily, that there will be an anointing of ease. But also what I'm seeing here is just you receiving. A lot of you may be receiving light codes, uh, light codes, I almost said night codes. So that could mean something for a lot of you in, in the sense that maybe uh, if you're sleeping, if you're you know doing your dream time, you may be having these upgrades. Um, these activations, but light codes could be coming in for you, activations could be coming in for you, but I'm just seeing ideas, some of you, I would not be surprised if you worked with color, if you were like a painter, um, some kind of collage artist, if you, even if you're a window dresser, if you do fashion, whatever this is, I'm just seeing a lot of color and a lot of uh, fecundity coming in for you, um, abundance. Now, it's interesting because at the same time, we have this Dark Angel card. They seem to be bringing me somewhere else. Okay, let's before we go there, let's come here and take a look. All right, so give me one sec. Okay, yeah, they're showing the Four of Cups here. The Four of Cups usually speaks of somebody who is not wanting to take advice, somebody who is not wanting to take something that is offered. For example, in a love relationship, if your person gets a four of cups <laughs> in relation to you, this is not a good sign. <laughs> because the fourth cup is that cup that is being offered by the divine, right? It's your way out. It's your, it's, it's just where you need to be. But um, the four of cups means usually not taking it, not interested in it. But here the way it, it comes in is showing that it's almost like right now you are in this thinking phase, you're in the vision phase. This is about having trust in what you, whatever it is that's coming in. And I feel you've got that trust. I mean, that is down pat. But I mean, it's almost like they want you to be in this state of freeze, for example, so that you can be an active receiver for whatever it is that is coming into your mind. Notice it's laying right underneath the aspiration card. So this is going to be a week of ideas. I wouldn't be surprised if you were um, encouraged to get a book or a book comes into your hands, like a notebook or something like that. You may literally look down, like someone's like, hey, can you hold this for a second? You're like, sure. And then you look down, it's a notepad. You're like, what? <laughs> so um, let me take a sip of water, one sec. 
So some of you may actively be getting a lot of advice. A lot of advice, a lot of, um, thank you guys. A lot of advice, a lot of, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, ideas. Ideas coming at you sometimes in a shower, sometimes when you're um, driving. I, I heard riding your bike, so some of you may ride your bikes. Um, but for whatever it's worth, and be careful on that bike if that's you, okay? Just make sure you, you don't ride with your headphones in, especially around blind, blind corners, okay? Whoever that is on the bike, that's a little bit of a warning for you. Um, because I think that for you in particular, when you're on this bike, you may lose focus is what they're saying, especially if you're listening to music or you're listening to something. It doesn't matter if you're listening to something self-help or something that is good for you to listen to. It still can be an obstruction for you when it comes to safety, especially around blind corners, because uh, you may see the stop sign there and expect the car to stop or whatnot, but it doesn't mean that they will. So just be mindful is what they're saying. All right, for whoever that is with the bike. If you think it's for you, it's you. All right. But either way, they're saying that um, <clears throat> they're saying that uh, this week is going to bring you a lot of ideas and a lot of things are going to be coming towards you guys. So please be in a position to write these things down. And also in your sleep, they're saying your sleep is going to be a very good place to receive these things. But of course, when you wake up, if anything, you might remember up to three pieces of information that are given to you. However, you may, be have, you may have received eight to 12 to 16 pieces of information at night, but you won't recall them upon waking. So just trust that you will be able to get whatever it is that you need to get but still during your work waking hours and working hours you heard that wanted to come out <laughs> um write those ideas down when they come to you okay now as far as taking action here at the knight of pentacles as, as far as taking active action in the real world towards those goals especially when it comes to love i'm seeing they're putting that on ice for right now okay look at this they're like no 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 26 is an 8 card. So it's almost like I'm not getting the idea of 8 walking away, right? Do I have that in here? 8 of, okay, no, 8 of cups walking away. I'm not getting that. I'm getting more, let's put that on freeze mode. So some of you may be working towards something, wanting to be the um, Knight of Pentacles, working towards, steadily working towards something you're already working on, whether it's a relationship or working even on the ideas that are coming through. They're like, let's put that on a deep freeze for right now. This is idea week, right? Some of you may be thinking about about a relationship right some of you I'm seeing may want to be reclaiming a relationship rekindling I keep getting a radio feeling here so there's a radio involved somewhere here but for whatever it were for what it's worth they're saying no we don't want you to do that do not take steps in the real world towards that relationship do not take steps in the real world towards what working towards these ideas or just whatever right now you are just meant to receive is what they're saying and so that's why i've got this big polar bear just like boom don't do it all right now they're pushing me onward to here to the six of swords the six of swords is all about moving forward and moving towards something of better value so this is also about moving from a place of stagnation moving from somewhere you know that for lack of a better word, sucked, <laughs> right? Or someone, I wanna move my card, but my hand, but they're not letting me, so there's something else that needs to come out. Let's take a quick look. Or some of you need to keep keep a look on it, keep an eye on it, let's see. Okay. Okay, thank you, I'm seeing that. Okay, for somebody here, this is a specific uh, message for you. You may be feeling like you're being watched, and that's because you are. Some of you may be, it could be in a workplace, it could be in a relationship place where you just don't feel as safe. Um, and it's almost like the powers that be or the, uh, um, I'm hearing workshop, workshop haunters, workshop hunters, I don't know, right? That's for somebody, right? Or, you know, it's almost like they're shining a, a spotlight on you. It seems like very artificial, like a spotlight on you. And you know that they're watching you and you are, um, and you know that they're watching and you are trying to move forward in a very, mm, 
purposeful way like you're still trying to do it you're still doing your job but you know that they're watching you because I'm seeing the shadow here it's almost like this big spotlight is on you and it's almost like a little bit of an intimidation tactic that they might be using but you're still going to move forward and do your thing and I want you to do that stay focused on moving towards the path of your highest good and I'm getting in particular that you uh, cannot be touched, you cannot be wronged, you cannot be worked over, you cannot be whatever verb you'd like to be use. If you are staying in the light is what they're saying. Stay focused on being in the light and focused on um, making your escape or making your moves um, in a positive way. You focus on you. Even if you see somebody trying to watch you or monitor you, let's give an example of that. But there, whoever that's for, you're going to know because it's going to fit your situation. But for those of you who are like, is it me? Chances are it's not you, but I'm just going to give an example. For example, um, say you're, you're at work and you are planning on getting another job and your bosses know that like they know it you know it and they're watching you but you know you didn't tell them yet but they somehow know it and there you are like going through your daily business at work and they're watching you your every move and to see if you're making copies of resumes if you're on the on the phone who you're talking to are you trying to line up a job on the internet are you like those kinds of things they're looking at your every move and you know it right also another example you were moving out of an apartment and there's like a neighbor who um maybe is just really nosy maybe they're a little they've got a little bit of a stalkery energy and they're watching you move your boxes and you know they're watching you through the window but you're just going about your business even though you're feeling a little freaked out you're going about your business underneath the spotlight and that's what i would encourage you to do okay your angels and guides have got you you stay focused to the in the light don't go into fear mode you just do your business stay in the light and get your stuff done and then you're out of there okay that's what i'm getting here i'm also seeing um, the Five of Cups followed by Karma, <clears throat> excuse me, the Karma card. So I'm seeing Five of Cups. Ooh, these cards, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat. <laughs> the Five of Cups comes on, falls under the Vision card, right? So all of this is coming in, even as you're dealing with some grief over something. Look at the Dark Angel card. The Dark Angel card is like, oh, okay. The Dark Angel card, I was going to say, is like my Dark Knight of the Soul card. Now, I want you to see something. You guys know that if you read my decks, I mean read my decks, if you re watch my readings, I usually pull a card for underneath the deck, right? For all of these cards. So for this card, the card underneath the deck that I didn't use, but that was, you know, underlying energy, is the actual Dark Knight of the Soul card. So Cancer, you guys must be going through something stressful, Okay, because this shows me that you're in an overall energy of dark night of the soul. Some of you may actively be shifting, needing to move. It's like whatever you're doing, they're asking you, though, to be in a space to receive ideas. Be in a space to receive ideas. It's almost like you're going through a little bit of a surgical moment in your life right now where there are things being extracted from you and that's why it's kind of like it's almost like if you've got sutures in and they're like okay you're like I need to go to the bathroom and they're like okay well I need you to get up slowly don't go rushing off we don't need you to tear your stitches and your organs or just wherever don't tear your stitches in your side we need you to walk slowly so that's what they're saying they're saying don't go making any big moves right now they need you to stay focused and be kind of in this rest energy recuperation um, so that you can uh receive just receive and dream dream big don't worry about anybody on the outside of you you have to have you have to trust in the visions that are being given to you because you're being moved right now amen you're being moved right now by spirit but i do feel oopsies these cards that are underneath the dark angel um, influence these cards that are under the shadow show me that you have been going through some grief you probably will continue to do so in this week um, there are still some things that need to be revealed because you're still going through something karmic right now you're still going through a cycle and there are some shadows some some secrets some whatever realizations some lessons that still need to be called but look at you you're still going through this seven of pentacles moment where you are amassing I don't see you ready to harvest yet, but you're amassing these lessons. So you're still in the middle of a karmic cycle. That makes sense because we see the dark night of the soul. We see the dark angel. Um, <laughs> we see you being told that certain things are put on ice right now. So you're definitely going through something. 
but keep going because you have they're asking you to have trust and look at the card that's coming at the end all right i mean falling right underneath there the two of swords look at that literally like a master your eyes are closed you don't know what's coming up you've got these two swords but they're asking you to trust use your intuition in fact the bottom of the deck card for this deck that i'm using is the high priestess use your intuition okay you're gonna have choices along the way sure as all of us do but they want you to use your intuition they also are drawing my attention to read i'm gonna put these two lovely ladies together they're also drawing my attention to read this card here the trust card it says in love there must be trust without trust there is no love jealousy is an illness of the mind and heart trust lives in the lodge of your innocence Heyoka is a warrior of the Native American tradition who goes into battle backward on his horse with a broken lance, knowing that the great spirit will protect him. It is this kind of trust that you need. The imbalanced aspects of patriarchal history reside like stone carvings within each of us. Welcome the new aspects of feminine power to your being, even though they may seem foreign. Trust in the ways of divine power and the great spirit know that you are made of this divine power and live with trust in your heart amen so what this is telling me is that right now they're asking you to take a more passive role in your life so you can be on the mend so that you can have your steps be ordered i think a lot of you guys who may be watching this may be used to be to taking things you, you know taking control of things taking the lead being in that masculine but they're asking you now to be more in your feminine a little bit more passive allowing energy to come in for you allowing yourself to recuperate allowing god to order your steps for you the image that i'm getting is like you know if you're like a little kid and then you're like holding on to your dad or mom and you've got they've got yeah you've got your little feet on both of their feet and when they move their feet they lift your feet so they're in effect walking and pulling you along with them but your feet are on top of their feet do you guys understand that yeah so that's kind of what they want they want you to let them lead you and don't feel that you need to make any significant moves right now especially if you've been working on something if something if you've been working on something whether it's a love relationship or anything i'm seeing a car dealership for somebody something about a car um whatever it is a van whatever whatever it is they are saying um if it starts to slow down and comes come to a halt they're saying let it do not try to push don't try to do anything like that. Let it and continue moving your way. Continue to be moved, even though you know people are watching you, even though you feel pressure from people staring at you. Now, the last two cards and Cancer, as I was telling the other signs, I'm really aspiring to work a little bit quicker or make the video shorter, that is, because I'm working really fast already. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, da, 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 da. but I'm trying to make the video shorter to like, hopefully 15 minutes. I don't know how readers do it, but down from an hour and change to like 15 minutes, the most 20 minutes. We're already almost at 20 minutes and we'll do our best, right? That way I can squeeze out more content for all the signs. Okay. Anyway. Um, so the last two cards that we're getting here. Oh no, wait, wait. Underneath the deck, God bless. Um, we have the Virtue card. I'm bringing this card in because it's underneath the deck, and you guys always know I do that. But Virtue card is coming up, and, like, everybody's reading. Oh, my gosh. Like, I just did, I think it was in, what did, who did I just do? I did Gemini. I think it was in Gemini's reading. I think it was in Taurus's reading. I don't know, but I definitely know it was in Gemini's reading, and it was definitely in the morning message for today. I It might have been in yesterday's morning message as well. I don't know, but Virtue is coming up a lot. Check out the morning messages um to find out about this the virtue here as it shows up is all about your integrity it's all about sticking to principles and having principles it's not even about sticking to it it's about having it um but in your case it's all about uh oh underneath the virtue card is the flow card <laughs> gosh aren't they telling you to get in the flow basically they're telling you to let them order your steps to calm down relax let them slow you it's all about being slow right now and flowing and i think that part of that is because you're healing like i said from this dark night of the soul multiple um tower moment situation so situation so 
they don't want you to tear your sutures but another part of that is i think when they slow you down slow you down and force you into this place of just receiving where you can't do much and they don't want you to do much they just want you to receive it almost makes you because you feel like you might be really multi-focused it forces you to become single focused and just to write down ideas for the whole week and then when it comes time to start working on those ideas they will personally move you to work on those ideas but for right now take things slowly and do things slowly and do it with trust because I'm feeling that you may be like wanting to get out there and do things because you feel like everything is so it's the right time to move like I'm out of here guys I'm, I'm moving out because I feel like now's the time to pursue my career and now's the time to, you know just because you're getting ideas and and you're feeling like everything is gold doesn't mean now is the right time to strike is what they're saying so they're working with you because you do have some karmic stuff that you're still in the middle of to clear up but the last two cards that I'm getting here plus the card from the under the deck, I'll show you. Um, look at this. Weren't we just talking about having blind faith? Where Here it is. Trusting in the visions. So here you are. The, oh, how cute. This swan is... Oh my God. It's, I'm sorry, guys. It's too cute. I can't right now. <laughs> this swan is giving this cute little bubble to to you and you're taking it and you're feeling it it's like a cross between a bubble and a pearl almost so that's why you're like well how come he didn't pop the bubble when he did it i, I don't know okay right but <laughs> we'll, we'll ask god but the point is that he's giving it to you and your eyes are blindfolded and you're just just relying on your intuition to feel it now at the same time look at you you're trying to move and they're like no <laughs> They put all of this this um, protective covering on you because you are cocooned right now. You're supposed to be healing. This also gives me Ten of Swords energy. You might be on the ground because you're just stressed out. Ten of Swords is that energy that comes when at the end of like a huge, painful, stressful cycle. Didn't we get two of these cards? We got the Dark Knight of the Soul and the Dark Angel card. I mean, dear God. <laughs> I mean, make it stop, right? So if this is for you, Cancer, you have to be going through a tough time right now. If you're a Cancer and you're watching, you're like, no, everything's great. Maybe this reading isn't going to vibe with you, but if it does vibe with you, then it is for you as well. You just may not be going through a tough time and God bless. But I'm just feeling a lot of you going through a tough time. I'm almost hearing a funerary dirge. It's almost like it doesn't matter how the music comes into your field. It turns into a fu funerary dirge. It's almost like, it's just like things are just rough right now. And you may f look any everywhere and see dead flowers when, you know, it may not be. And either way, look, see this? This cute. This is a cute card. This is the lynx card. And what I'm seeing every time I see this, it's almost like there's a cute little cat. This cute little cat whose head is popping out of somebody's backpack, and this is the person's shoulder and backpack, and their head is there. So they're carrying you. You are being carried right now, um, Cancer. Right now is all about you being provided for. They're saying you need to rest and recoup. Don't go jumping off just because you're getting ideas. That this is the time to receive these creative ideas and let them sit for a while while you just write things down and when it's time to move they will move you in this cute little backpack but don't go storming off and creating malaise for yourself because you're definitely in a very tentative and vulnerable place in your life right now cancer okay now i'm seeing this double um dark night of the soul energy all right anyway oh you know wait this one card wants to come in Oh, so cute, both of them. All right, so here's what I'm seeing here. For some of you, you're definitely dealing with somebody. Who's, who this? All right, this honeybee guy. Um, usually when I see this honeybee guy, he looks really sweet, but I gotta be honest, this guy looks a little bit sociopathic and psychopathic. So he's representing a person, place, thing, or situation in your life, which I would not be surprised fits the bill because look at this dark angel. Look at that dark knight of the soul card off. Whoever this is, and, and also the person or thing that is watching you or you feel under the spotlight, whether it's the IRS, whether it's, you know, I don't know, whoever it is or whatever it is, this is um, representing that force in your life that is just like scary. It's like whatever. But they're saying, we got you. You're divinely protected, but you have to rest. Look at this, rest. And I love this card because this is you, male, female, or gender non-conforming. It doesn't matter. You, whoopsies, you are looking really cute. 
And look at this, as you're dreaming, look at these little whales coming to give you kisses. Right, and this one like, wait for me. Right, it's almost like they're kissing you, and cuddling you and snuggling you and canoodling and all of those things as you rest. So they're saying, please rest, is what they're saying, please rest. Don't go out there until we ask you to because you're not ready. And maybe there are some forces that are at play where they're, oops, excuse me with the lighting. <laughs> maybe there are some forces at play and maybe there are people, things, situations out there that they're trying to protect you from. So if you right now are all about a love relationship that you're trying to pursue or there's some dream that you're trying to pursue and it seems like it's coming to a, slow down, stop with whatever it is straight up on ice look at that this guy's like no <laughs> you're like oh, what i can't hear you no <laughs> right and he's like he said no you're like oh okay sorry i, I couldn't hear him because the blizzard it was cold right and so there's no there's no if ands or buts about it this is protection okay rejection is protection they're not protect rejection but you know stop doing what you're doing is re is protection <laughs> All right. Anyway, God bless you guys. I'm going to um, go now. Okay. But guys, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you know where to reach me. And if you'd like to donate, thank you in advance. Yay. All right. Mwah. Bye.